fourth doses really are the best protection we can have right now. Provinces and territories will begin preparing fourth doses for Canadian seniors and residents living in long-term care homes, a recommendation put forward by NACI on Tuesday as the country continues to see spikes in COVID-19 cases. Ontario is taking the recommendation a step further, allowing Ontarians 60 plus to book their second booster shot on Thursday. Quebec following suit and BC is providing fourth doses for those 70 plus. Manitoba is offering the second booster to residents in nursing homes, individuals 70 plus and First Nations, Inuit and Métis people 50 or older. NACI says it's also still studying whether second boosters are needed for younger adults and adolescents. Laura Tamblin Watts from CanAge says it's imperative to keep the most vulnerable, especially those in long-term care, safe. We need to make sure that we're prioritizing essential caregivers in getting those additional shots as well. And staff too, making sure that staff are able to get vaccinated wherever possible. Manitoba no longer has any public health restrictions and the province is only providing COVID data once a week, making it hard for Manitobans to understand the true scope of the pandemic in our province. Last week, Manitoba saw eight more deaths and 111 more hospitalizations due to COVID. Jan Ligueros from Long-Term and Continuing Care Association of Manitoba says she wants to see these doses administered now. On any given day, we have about 20 personal care homes in outbreak there are also uh, a thousand residents living in supportive housing across the province and there have been a few outbreaks. Ligero says it's important for everyone to get boosted so residents living in long-term care don't go on lockdown again. This is their home, it's not a prison and we need to respect that and we need to allow them to um, be able to have that kind of contact. <laughs> The latest data from Wastewater Signal released by Ontario Science Table suggests infections are rising and almost near highs in early January when Omicron was at its worst. Dr. Kwadu Kanti says Canada is already in a sixth wave. The pandemic is still with us and um, there may be more variants to come. So we actually have to think in the long term, what do we need to do and keep in place in order to ensure that we get through this pandemic and we, and we prepare ourselves for any subsequent subvariants that may emerge from Omicron. Dr. Kenty says it's important to still continue to get vaccinated and follow health recommendations. Wear the mask, maintain physical and social dis distancing where possible and especially where necessary. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.